that would be great. Well, right now, your team is the most discussed. Disgust. 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 Ah, oh, yeah. You okay? I, I heard it is disgust. Like, like disgusting? Disgust. It's yeah. Monday. I'm disgusted. Yeah. Had a long like, weekend, huh? <laughs> no, it's, it's the, the English <laughs> language. <laughs> um, all right, George Taylor, is Ant-Man the next face of the NBA? The next face? Uh, not yet, but I think he could be. I think he's on the trajectory to be, certainly I think he's one of the young faces of the NBA. I think he's one of those talents that we think is, is separating himself from the rest of the league. He has a big personality. He plays an incredibly dynamic style. He's captivating to watch. He's fun. He's expressive. He has all of those things. He's very marketable. I think it's hard to say who the, who the face will be while LeBron is still playing. I mm -hmm. think LeBron's shadow looms over the league as long as he is still playing. If you're going to walk out on the street and ask someone to name an NBA basketball player, the answer is likely going to be LeBron, or it will be Steph Curry, or it will be Kevin Durant. While we think we've all moved on because they're not in the postseason right now anymore, I, I don't think that the average fan, and that's who we're talking about. We're talking about the crossover fans. We're not talking about hardcore NBA fans that watch the league every single night, that know all the players. That is not what makes the face of a league. A face of a league has crossover into entertainment, into culture, into the world outside of the league. And that is a big thing, and we don't get to decide who that is. For example, they just won in spectacular fashion this postseason. They won a series, right? Did we talk about them or did we talk about the team that lost? We did not do one segment about them. We did all of the segments about that series about the team that they beat, which was the Suns. So I think they're on the way and Ant is positioned to be that. I think that winning at the highest level, if he was to beat, if they were to beat the Nuggets, and I would say yeah. him obviously, if they were to beat the Nuggets and they go on to win a championship or be in the finals, that takes the next step also when you're talking about being the face of the league. Because winning and playing that far into the summer, people saying, oh, who's in the NBA Finals? Or who is the, uh, that they're getting introduced to this player that is spectacular and interesting that people in sports know and appreciate. That is when you cross over to really establishing yourself as the face of a league. I agree. He's not the face. Not yet. He can be, but family. We have this conversation about Jason Tatum. We have this conversation for a day and a half about John Morant. You got to win. I mean, we all wanted Jason Tatum to be the face of the league, but the Celtics never won. And now we're trying to say, is he even the best closer on his team? We have this conversation about Devin Booker. Devin Booker, oh, his style of play is kind of like Kobe. He dropped a 70-point game. Number one seed, back-to-back -back years, went to the NBA Finals. You got to win. So if Ant-Man wins, no doubt about it, he can be the face of the league because he does check several boxes. Swagger box, check. Culture box, check. Style of play, check. But the most important box or the circle there to check is rings. And until he gets a ring, he can't be the face of the league. Does he have the talent to be the face? Yes. But to me, 2-5, you got to start winning, like, more than just one series. I feel as though we are so parched to find a face of the league, particularly an American-born face of the league, because Joker's about to win three MVPs in four years. Giannis won two before that, and Embiid won one last year. I feel like we are so parched to find a face of the league that, oh, you want a playoff series? Let's make you the face. John Morant, oh, you had highlight dunks. Let's make you the face. Jason Tatum, hey, let's make you the face. We're trying to find a face. LeBron is the face until otherwise proven or until somebody goes and wins some chips. Yeah. Uh, I kind of agree and disagree. I think he has the potential to be the face for sure. Yes, right? sir. Um, you know, you guys brought up some good points, right? Jokic, you brought up um, um, Giannis. Giannis, Giannis, right? Indeed. They're not Americans, though, so I'm going to take them out the picture, right? Can't be the face of the NBA if you're not American. Break that down, because people cut this out and say I you're mean, xenophobic, uh, and so use more no, words. No, no, I'm just saying that, because, like, like, for example, like, like LeBron, like the Steph Curry's, like, when we got the Olympic team, who they playing for? Let's break it down like that. The Olympic team, who they, who they playing for? Are they playing for America not playing for America? This is American sport, right? Even though everybody's coming here, we need them to carry the torch. Yeah. All right, that's as simple as that. I won't get too deep in it, but that's as simple as that. But we look at like, like the Jordans, right? Because eventually he became the face of the league, right? Mm -hmm. Kobe's eventually mm -hmm. became the face of the league. LeBron. But what, when though? What year? Not, not when they were 22. Right. Right? 23? Mm -hmm. It takes time. He has everything you need. You talk about dog and attitude. I don't think he has dog. He has Timberwolves in him, right? He's a wolf. <laughs> His attitude, that's your peak. <laughs> I, I think a lot of things have been the, the face of the NBA is like things like, um, 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 the attitude of competing. Mm -hmm. He don't shy away from that. Who you want me to guard? Who guard me? I don't care who it is. He goes at him. That's the thing that we, we miss in this, in this league. Everybody's so friends. Everybody's so cool. What made this game so special is the rivalries, the magic and, and birds, right? Jordan gets the pistons. Like, that's what, made, that's what made it such a big thing. 
So you talk about rings, I agree. He has to win some rings, but the dude is only 22 years old. He's a baby. See, that's where I come down, and I agree with what y'all said, but y'all are trying to talk about whether he's the face of the league right now. No, he's not. Of course he's not. Of course he's not. It's LeBron's league, it's Steph's league, KD. Like, those guys are the marketable faces of the NBA until they want to hang it up. If LeBron plays till he's 45, he will still command that type of attention. But if you're asking me who the next face of the NBA is, whether that's in two years or six years, I feel so confident betting that it's going to be this guy. I, like, Ant is incredible. I'm having so much fun watching this guy come into his own. It's the style of play. You mentioned the swagger. He is so charismatic. Like, the, the love of competing and the love of the game that you see on his face when he plays. He's in the press conferences critiquing his much older teammates. Y'all saw him giving Cat grief about fouling, mm -hmm. right? Like, in front of the media, like, that team marches to the beat of his drum, and he's 22 years old. Even, you know, you mentioned Giannis, you mentioned Embiid, uh, obviously Jok uh, Jokic. Like, these guys are older than him. Luka is significantly older than him. He's 22 years old. In six years, but break he'll down only be 28. Me, like, he, the, the, it could be there for him but for break the down next for decade me, or I'm going to talk to the left side of the table. Shady, obviously, chime in as always. Joy, you know firsthand, because you've been doing this longest, we did this with Jason Tatum. And we didn't just do it. We did it aggressively, and rightfully so. Jason Tatum, three All-NBA teams. Jason Tatum, five-time All-Star. Jason Tatum, at 22, was also balling. Jason Tatum went to an NBA Finals. Jason Tatum was the best player on his team when he went to the NBA Finals. Jason Tatum had a one seed, two seed, three seeds. We did this before. And Jason Tatum is a dog now as it pertains to his talent, not necessarily as it pertains to his mantra and his style of play, as it pertains to his talent. So the reason, Dave, I just can't sit here and, and co-sign everything you're saying is not because I don't agree, just because I've, I've already been fooled once. I've been but, fooled I mean, before. being a great player is the baseline foundation for this right. conversation, right? Like, if you're, you're building a house, you, you got to start with the foundation. We mm -hmm. don't know what the house is going to look like, but we know it's got to have a foundation. Okay, the foundation is you're a great player. You cannot be the face of any league if you are not a great one percenter of that league, which he is, which Jason Tatum was, which Giannis is, which Embiid is, which Jokic is. The, the two players that were really set up perfectly for this were Zion and Ja. Mm -hmm. So th there, there's, there's a baseline of you have to be great. You have to have a style of play that is interesting, that, that cuts through. Okay, those things are there. But when you're talking about the face, the reason that these guys haven't stepped into that limelight, one, I think it's because of LeBron still. Like, I, I, don't, I don't think that there's enough share to go around <laughs> for someone to just come in and do that without being completely dominant in the postseason year after year after year and resonating in all those other ways. It's not a tangible thing. There's not some room with cloaked men deciding who the next face of right. the NBA is. The market will dictate who it is. When you is. say that, who is that? Because I would say we are the market as well. We like can we're talking say whatever about we want. We are on a sports show. I'm talking about Saturday Night Live. I'm talking about yeah. shows that have nothing to do with sports. I'm talking about popping up and people having opinions about but, who you are and what you do. You are the face of the league. You cross over into other areas in a very organic way that we don't get to say that happens. Well, I, I think that starts with winning, right? LeBron started, I, I, yeah. he started in Cleveland. Nobody wants to go to Cleveland. Don't you know, market in Cleveland. Correct. He was that good, right? Mm -hmm. Right. I think a lot of that is... Uh, they anticipated him to be so good, the chosen one since high school. But yeah. once he got in the league, started playing, started getting better. Michael Jordan always says this. He says, you know, the shoes is great and all that. And my name got big and everything. But I never would have been that big if my biggest endorser wasn't my game. Yep. Mm -hmm. So for Ant-Man, for the beginning, to be this young, playing this good, what's he going to like next year and the year after that? He's going to be super dumb. So I don't, we don't know. We don't know. And, you say, and another thing you said about um, Jason Tatum, Tatum right? Yes, sir. He's a great player. They two different people. Right? This is the, the way they come off. Like, you see his attitude? Kevin Durant is his favorite player, right? Everybody in sports, they love the controversy, right? Mm -hmm. From boxing, the basketball, the baseball, it, you know, the, the Yankees and the Sox, like, every, it, mm -hmm. it makes a rivalry. He has that attitude. Like, Jordan, I ain't backing down. Tatum, good player, cool. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, yeah, got, yeah. got my son on the court, with that. you know? Agree with that. Nah, Agree he wants that. all the smoke, and, he, and it's in a positive way. It's a competitive way. You get his talent, you keep going, they start winning championships. He gonna be the face. That's what I'm saying. LeBron here or not? He's in. He's in pole position to do that yeah, because 22. he has all those other things. He is 22, and if slash when they cut through and win, 
that's when all of those other things, all these foundational things that we're talking about, being a great player, it, it having the attitude, a having that's the swagger. Well, that's what I'm saying. The formula of this is very specific. And why I, that's why I say we don't get to decide to do it. Because if we did, we would just say, Yoka should be the face mm -hmm. of the NBA. He right. is the most dominant player. He is, he is the face of the NBA. It's only about winning. But it is it's not, not only I about also winning. Think we can relate to him, too, though. though. I feel, yes, I feel, I feel, I feel like Ameri and another thing about the, the, but, but the we culture need, we, need we need an American to be the face of the league. That's why I don't think others can, because... I can relate to Ant Man. I can't really relate to Jokic, yeah. right? I can't really. I think, I think that matters. That's why I, yeah. I, I put it in a culture way, but that's, I think that matters. Culture I also it. think the last thing I'll say is I do think there needs to be some polarization. Yeah, I think there I, needs yes, some like there needs to be some tension that puts people on this side of you, people on that side of you. I think whether it was Naomi Osaka, whether it was Shakari Richardson, whether it was Angel Reese and uh, Caitlin Clark, polarization it always galvanizes. We've seen that's it time happen and time naturally, again. though. I think no, but that's why I say it had, I, don't, but it, I, don't, I don't know if we have my list from last week, but polarization was on my list as well because LeBron was naturally polarizing. As Shady mentioned, we knew of LeBron since he was 16 years old. He was on the cover of Sports Illustrated. He was the chosen one. Everybody didn't like that. So even if everyone was excited to see LeBron in the league, everyone was sort of watching from this curious space of, okay, is, is he the next one? Is he the next MJ? Are we rooting for him? And as LeBron has grown in fame and in success, he has a natural polarization about him. Even Steph Curry, who is who is not on the level of LeBron as far as polarization or, or even overall fame to me, for a while had a little polarization to him. He would do, he would celebrate, he would talk, he would throw his mouth guard and, and there has to be something there that has is to be like something. some and that, tension and that Cavs, there. I think LeBron was so big, that Cavs and Warriors thing and they was do getting yep, dominant yeah. on And the decision. Oh, no. The, to me, Joy, the first real tension was with the decision. Yes. Because LeBron don't give us nothing, man. Like, family man, da-da-da, da-da-da, da-da-da. But when he did the decision, then it was like you either loved him or you can, hated him. Can I predict the future for you? Please do, and then I got to go to break. He'll either fall short, and with so many great players in the NBA, people will drag him down because of that. Why we talk about this guy so much if he didn't, he didn't even get past the conference finals? Or he'll win and win big, and a certain subsect of people will... Subscribe here to get the latest from Speak and go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.